Hey everybody and welcome back to Voltage Online. I'm so glad you are here with us today. Now over the past few weeks, we've been learning about our girl heroes. The first hero was Esther, that's right. And heroes stand up for what is right and Esther showed that with her life in saving the Jewish people. Last week, we looked at Ruth and we learned that heroes are loyal. And today, we're going to be looking at the person who we would often hear about near Christmas time. She was the mother of somebody very important. That's right, it's Mary. And we are learning today that heroes take the challenge. You know, I've seen a lot of movies from comedies to drama and everything in between. And the thing I've noticed about most of these movies is that they kind of follow the same formula. So they start off with an ordinary person. That person faces a challenge. They go on a quest to conquer the challenge. Along the way, there's some obstacles. Then it comes to a climax. Then the hero triumphs. Heroes take on the challenge. They get their brave on and face the many obstacles on their path. Today's unlikely hero is Mary. We usually hear a little about Mary at Christmas time when we talk about her being Jesus' mother. We're going to take a closer look at Mary and how she was an unlikely hero who bravely accepted the challenge. In a town called Nazareth, a young woman, an unlikely hero named Mary, was pledged to be married to a man named Joseph. An angel came to Mary and said, Greetings, young woman. Greetings, young woman. You are highly favoured. You are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. What kind of greeting is this, thought young Mary. What kind of greeting is this? She began to feel afraid. The angel said, Do not be afraid, you have found favour with God. Do not be afraid, you have found favour with God. You will conceive and have a baby. You will conceive and have a baby. You will call him Jesus. You will call him Jesus. He will be great. He will be great. Holy. Holy. And will be called the Son of the Most High. And will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him rule. The Lord God will give, give him rule. Over Jacob's descendants. Over Jacob's descendants. And his kingdom will never end. And his kingdom will never end. Me have a baby? How could this be? Me have a baby? How could this be? Mary asked the angel. The angel answered her. The Holy Spirit will come on you. The Holy Spirit will come on you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And the power of... God will follow you. So the Holy One to be born. For the Holy One to be born. Will be called the Son of God. Will be called the Son of God. Even your relative Elizabeth. Even your relative Elizabeth. Is having a baby in her old age. Is having a baby in her old age. But no word from the Lord will from, ever fail. From nowhere from the Lord will never fail. Mary became an unlikely hero as she bravely accepted the challenge, saying to the angel, I am a servant of the Lord. I am a servant of the Lord. May your word be fulfilled. May your word be fulfilled. I shall have a holy baby. I shall have a holy baby. And then the angel left her. Mary got ready and hurried to greet her relative Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary coming, the baby leapt in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with Holy Spirit. In a loud voice she exclaimed, 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the baby you will bear. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. Now we've been learning that God can take unlikely people and do extraordinary things with them. We have some people that took on a challenge this week to be able to create a superhero outfit. Now let's go and see how they went with their challenge and then we'll come back and talk about it. Oh, Iron Man's gun, thingy mob. Spider Man's web shooter. Shooter. Thor's cape. Okay. okay. Wonder's corset. Wonder oh. Woman? <laughs> no, Wonder. Oh, right on. And, um, Black Widow's boots. Very good. Love it. <laughs> Didn't they do a great job creating superhero outfits? It's interesting, some superheroes can climb trees or jump tall buildings or fly through the sky. But does God call us to do those things? No. We can be unlikely heroes that do extraordinary things for God though. Now in our story today, Mary was brave. When we're faced with challenges, we can do two things. We can either go, ah, uh, no, I don't think so. I am out of here. And we leave the situation. We don't want to face the challenge. Other times, we might face the challenge and be courageous. Being brave means that with God on our side, we can have the courage and strength to face whatever we need to. Sometimes it takes extra courage than what you think you've actually got. I remember when I was about 10 years old and we were at a theme park in Queensland called Magic Mountain and they had this really big net which went across what felt like a really big valley underneath. There were other nets underneath so that you couldn't fall through, but it took a lot of courage because I do not like being up high. So I remember I was holding on to that rope and trying to crawl across while sitting down. It took a very long time and it's not something I ever want to do again, but it took courage to be able to get there. So heroes take the challenge. So Mary had to take on a challenge too. She was probably just a bit older than 12 years old when the angel has come to her and she could have run away scared, but instead she said, may it be to me as you have said, I am the Lord's servant. Wow, what a gracious heart. And Mary was a person that loved God and knew that she could trust God. It's not always easy, is it? Like we've already talked about, sometimes we want to run away from the challenge, sometimes we want to actually do the challenge. Mary having a baby seemed impossible, and her cousin Elizabeth having a baby seemed even more impossible. But God allowed for both of those things to happen, and with Elizabeth, Mary's cousin, being pregnant, that confirmed to Mary that she had indeed received a message from God. In Luke chapter 1 verse 37 it says, For with God nothing is impossible. Challenges are not ever easy, but with God they can be possible. If it were easy, it wouldn't be a challenge. Problems and challenges can come in all shapes and sizes. But did you know the Bible tells us that if we have faith as small as a mustard seed, we can move mountains? Unlikely heroes accept the challenge. Who do you think is the strongest person you know? I've got muscles, but I don't think it's me. Do you know how a weightlifter gets to lift up really heavy things? They start lifting up what they can already do and they practice that until it becomes easy. And then they add a little bit more weight, practice that and a little bit more, practice that and a bit more and a bit more 
until they're lifting something that seems impossible. And it would be impossible for me, but they've practiced and they've built up their skills to be getting stronger and stronger. To take on challenges, we need to have a different kind of strength to our weightlifting strength. We need to have strength that comes from a different place. That place is God. God gives us strength. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, it says, I can do anything through him who gives me strength. We develop those faith muscles a little bit at a time, little by little, gradually building up and asking God for more and more as we see him answer our prayers. And it's so exciting when you see God hearing your prayers and answering them in ways sometimes that we couldn't even ask or imagine. The more we spend time with Jesus, the more we will be ready to accept the challenges that come our way. So guys, remember that whatever challenges come your way, God is always with you and he will give you the strength to be able to get through those. You can pray to him, you can read your Bible, you can talk to other people who love God who might encourage you. You can listen to worship music. There are so many ways that we can develop our relationship with God and be ready for heroes to take on the challenge. John, John chapter 1 verse 14. So the Word became human, made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. John chapter 1 verse 14. Safe in the Savior's hand
something you love to do? Something you're really good at? Like drawing? Or reading? Or football? Just as everyone has things that they find easy to do, so everyone has things that they find hard. Challenges. But the important thing to do is not give up, but remember who we can turn to for help. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And so with Him, we become heroes. Heroes can take on the challenge. Even when it's really, really hard. Heroes are ordinary people, just like you. And just like me. Let's talk about that. Cut. Love your work. One, two, three, four. There's something special about this place full of crazy characters and imagination run wild. A place where the good news of Jesus spreads out all over the world. Join us as we plan it, film it and wrap it up. And here we have the infamous dressing room. Ah, And what a treat! It's Funny Man Dan! Ah, The finger! The bat, the rat, and the lion tamer! All right, now next we have the kitchen. Okay, down to business. Don't be such a baby! You're a sandwich! I don't understand! There's a baby in the dressing room? Don't tell me she's our new big boss! Is that right, little one? Are you the new big boss? Look, I know it sounds crazy, but last time there was a change, we got a puppet! Oh! 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 What is that? Oh no! She's leaking! I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. Including a baby? Shh, 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 shh. Um, shh. Uh, hey, John Nathan, say hello to baby. Hi, baby. Aww. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan, we can do this. Uh, we can look after the baby. Look, this is our chance to prove to everyone that we can take on the challenge. Crazy Jane last night about a dog sitting on a roof with sticky tape. And sticky tape? My crazy dream was I was a superhero and I fly around and I did hoopa loops and I fly and fly and fly and I flew around round 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 up to the space. What happened in space if you didn't wear a space helmet? I did nothing. That was a crazy dream. So, uh, where did the baby come from? I don't know. I was just sitting here, then she appeared. <gasps> Is she the new big boss? No, she appears to be a normal baby. But she doesn't seem happy, though. Maybe she's hungry. Nathan, you're a genius. But what to feed her? She doesn't have any teeth, so it has to be soft. Soft and nutritious, yet healthy and wholesome. Marshmallows. Here you go. She likes it. I shall call her Marshy. Cool name. I wonder where Marshy came from. I don't know, but she needs looking after. And you and I need to rise to the challenge. Yeah. Oh, 
good match. The most exciting news is, is that Big HQ is improving its safety record. We have not had any incidents here in the past 28 days. Ah, oh, fantastic. Very good. We've lost a baby! <sighs> well, at least Funny Man Dan isn't involved. Hey, hello, my tiny human friend. Hi. Oh, it's so good to be back here at church, no? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, my friend, but I've had a rough week. No. Yes, yes, my friend, on Monday I go down slide and fall and puddle. Slide. On Tuesday I go and swing and then fall and puddle. Swing. On Wednesday I cut out middleman, jump straight and puddle. Much more fun. <laughs> Yes, my friend, but you are only one to listen to me. So let me tell to you, number one problem of week. You see, I am learning ABCs, but I do not know what happens after C. I get confused easily, and my brain does not work so much well. So, uh, my friend, I am scared to even try. So, uh, what is your advice for me? How can I learn these ABCs? A, B, C, to B, for me. Oh, is that my friend? A, B, C, too big for me. <gasps> Are you telling to me that I'm making my problems too big and, and instead I should make my problems smaller? Like, uh, my problem is never bigger than my God. Is that what you're telling to me, my friend? I should make my problems smaller because I have such a big God. Yay! Lelomenopi. Lelomenopi. That sounds very advanced for such a baby type as you. Uh, uh, could you tell me how it goes, please, from beginning? Hello. Hello. Woogie Woogie Bee. It says here that if the mother smells another scent on her baby, she may not take her back or even recognize her. I think we're fine, Nathan. After all, she's not a bird. But what if she is a bird? She just hasn't grown her feathers yet. Does silly Uncle Nathan think you're a bird? Isn't he funny? There she is! I found her! Gopher is Marshy's mother. Oh, it happened so quick. It seems like only ten minutes ago that she was just a little baby. But now she's leaving the nest. Nest? I miss our little Marshy! Marshy? Oh, gopher, you wouldn't understand until you had a baby chicken of your own. I didn't feel up to the responsibility of such a big event, but I knew, deep down in my heart, that I had to take on the challenge and look after that precious bundle of joy. For ten minutes. Shh! You wouldn't understand. I have three kids. The miracle of life, gopher. The miracle of life! All I know is you guys did the right thing. You stayed where you were and you didn't panic. Stage one is now Yeah! Didn't panic! Yay yeah, us! We did a brave thing today, Nath, and we got through it. Not by our strength, but with the one who gives us strength. It wasn't easy, but I think a real hero is someone who takes on whatever challenge comes their way and puts their trust in Jesus to help them with their every step. Heroes take on the challenge! Two boys that are having birthdays. We have Vincent and Xander. Happy birthday, boys. Here's your birthday message. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Vinny and Xander. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Now we've got some friends who took on a challenge which involved hopping down a road. Hey everybody, stop. today we're doing hop and stop. The way this game works is when you have to hop, but when I say stop, then you have to stop and you can't put your foot down. But if I say hop again, you have to hop again and go up to finish line. Let's go! Hop! Stop! Sweetie! 
Ready? Back to the line. Well friends, that's all we've got time for today. Don't forget we've still got Stella, our compassion child, who needs our support during these difficult COVID times. Let's pray together before we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Jesus, we want to thank you that we've been able to learn today about Mary and that she was brave and she took on the challenge to become the mother of Jesus. Even when things seemed impossible, she believed what the angel gave us the message from you and trusted that you were doing the right thing and you would use her in a way that she could not imagine. God, we thank you that we can be unlikely heroes as well and we can build our faith muscles to be courageous and learn to trust you more and trust that you have our best interests at heart. God, we want to pray for Stella as well, that you will continue to be looking after her and helping her to learn to love you more so that she has a lifelong relationship with you. God, thank you that you love each of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to have a couple of weeks off now and then we'll see you again after the holidays. Have a great holiday, everybody. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.